Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I'm in a strange room today. Um, I believe it's called a gym. I haven't seen it in years, so I'm gonna get acquainted with it first and then uh, show you around. Nah, just kidding. Anyways, so I'm in here today because of this. I've already tested it out, so that's why I'm so excited to show you guys, okay? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so in the gym, as you can see, Coach Gu is pumping a little iron. Got my man Coach Chris here with me. Um, we're, we're cheering them on, okay? Go, 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 go. Hurry up, man. Okay, anyways, um, so we've tested this particular item and we are um, actually very happy to test this item. This is, the, we are the first testers of this thing called a Thera Cup. And we were pretty skeptical about the, the whole theory behind what it is. Um, I mean, it kind of looks like a breast pump. Okay, just to be whatever, uh, very blatant with it, but I'll put this right here. Um, but, you know, let's check it out real quick. So it, it comes in its own little handsome carrying case, as you see, it's called TheraCup. There's two little suction cups here that look like that. And so if you guys have ever had cupping before, um, this is what they use here in most of the Western states because, you know, flaming the glass, um, what they do over in the East, meaning China, um, to say Asia, in Asia, excuse me, what they do in Asia, oh, flaming God. is too, a little too dangerous out here and there's too many rules to follow. So basically this will be your cupping mechanism, right? That's why it's called a Thera cup. And, but to enhance that, there is a wiring system that you press in which it intensifies and contracts your muscle more. So not only is it getting blood flow into the area in which you need it, it's also making it contract. So, that's why I was like, I was pretty skeptical about these little things, but um, they actually work. So I'm gonna show you how they work um, right now. On Coach Goo. On Coach Goo, cause he's right there. And, um, but but there's also a couple other things, but let, let me get started with, uh, with uh, some of these other things. So have you guys ever had a TENS machine? Meaning, if you ever like had a knee problem or need to build your muscle back up in your knee or your, you know, calves or anywhere else, and you put those pads on, and then you have that little dialer, and then it would, it just makes your muscle contract, you know, release, contract, release. This also has that too. Uh, we're gonna start there, and then we're gonna go into the cupping. Okay, so stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna start with the first piece. There, besides the cups, they come with these um, pads. If you guys have ever had a TENS machine, like I, I said, you know what these are and you know what they're for. So we're gonna hit Coach Goo's IT band. So we're gonna place it, I'll let Coach Goo place it where he needs to place it there. All right, so Coach Goo is gonna go right there and then is, where should we put the other one? You can put it. You can put it back. Thank you. Next one, probably right yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. cold. Ooh. Okay. So okay, you the... it, it has an adhesive stick to it, as you can see. Like these are the ones that keep keep it keep it sticky. Okay. Now, so you can take these off. These are detachable, as you can tell. So you can place that little 
I guess, contraption right onto that white metal part here. Okay. Do I just, just twist? Take this one off? You can just pluck it off. Okay. There you go. Good there job. You go. Good job, man. You passed, you passed the basic here, test. I'll, I'll take the cup. Okay. So, as you can tell, there's two systems. This is the power button. So let's turn this on. So you hear that sound, that means it's turned on. Um, if you hear that, that's when it's on its modes. Let me see here. So when you press this power button again, it'll give you the sensation of a tingling feeling. So that's the, the electric pulse coming in. So you want to feel more, you keep pressing this. Do you feel more of a stimulation? If you're satisfied, if you hold this, that's where the mode will start. As you can tell, it works. So Whoa, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a really strong pulse. I think you press the M, it does switch to different modes. So there's this coming, oh. this rising level first. Mm -hmm. And then the other one I was on, it had like three sharp, oh, um, really? three sharp bumps because just trying the three sharp bumps. I was, I, I was, that was a three. As you cannot tell that was the three, the three bumps, and then it stimulated off. So I think the M is the different modes they have. I think there's also three types of modes as well. Oh, there it is. There's one. that's the first mode. So the first mode is basically a progression of of pressure. So in the beginning it starts off slow and then it goes higher and higher and higher and then all of a sudden you can see Oh wow. It looks like there's like are... four com four compressions it looks like. Yeah, so that's the first level. The first level goes progressively up and it hits a stimulant, like hits its peak for a few seconds as you can tell. And then afterwards it dives down again progressively going solar. So it's basically kind of a I guess yeah. how it's like it's like a graduate like Basically, if someone was massaging you, like you have a massage therapist, they remember how they kind of work in slowly, slowly, and then it gets to the pressure point, and mm -hmm. they go at it for a few seconds, and they slowly come back down. Right. That's right. basically the first level. Um, we'll switch out levels. If we press this again, and we're still blinking. Let's see what this mode is. Oh. So this cool. one is more... So this one is more... It goes progressively up, and then it hits you with the three three sharp ones and then progressively it kind of fades away and does the same thing it progressively builds again it hits you with the three sharp ones again and it progressively goes down and then the last mode i think what i already tested was kind of feel what's going on here Ooh, that looks like an aggressive mode right there yeah, this one's a little, so it rapidly increases pretty quick. It starts off a bit slow and then all of a sudden it takes off and then it, it kind of puts you at that peak level a little longer than usual. So it holds, so it, holds it longer. So let's say it was like, like my massage therapist again is really working at that spot that's really tight. So it progressively works around that area. So, so that's what it feels like. Like a deep tissue. So a deep track. tissue, like this is probably a deep tissue. Let's say if you're like really feeling tight, you want to dig it out. This is the mode that you want to use usually. Perfect. And then if we see, just to make sure there's only... So yeah, it goes back to the first one. So okay. this first one just progressively built. So we got three modes on this. So on three this. modes. Um, uh, if you see a flashing, that means it's the, it's working, so it's on. If you hold this, it pauses the whole thing. Yeah. So you hold this M button here, M and minus, you hold it there for a while. So this increases intensity, that increases lowers This intensity. lower intensity. And when it's flashing, it means it's on. Got it. Cool. So afterwards, you can just hold this, turn it off, and yeah, you can peel it off right away. Off. All right. So now I'm trying out the cups. I'm on pretty the most aggressive setting right now. So this one, um, this one definitely has that two rapid, not rapid, but two sharp ones, and then it hits you with the the steady flow after. So for those of you who have tennis elbow and you guys don't want to, you know, rub it out or, or do much of anything to it, this will increase the blood flow to that, you know, to your arm, to your elbow, uh, to those muscles, and also um, basically uh, stimulate 
the muscle at the same time. So it's mm -hmm. going to increase blood flow and stimulate at the same time. Coach Good, what do you, ooh, you just... This one is only a group. It's pretty high up there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to trade jump modes. So this one you can tell it has like one, two, three, kind of aggressive. And then all of a sudden it hits you the shocker. So two, and then there's probably one more here. And then it hits you. Yeah, and it slowly mellows out. So I'm going to press the different modes, see how it goes. So let's see how this mode feels. That's one. So this one, it... It has a one sharp, rapid, so like that's one sharp one, and then afterwards it mellows out longer. So the the one that stimulates um, is that you'll feel that kind of um, I don't know how to describe it. I think it's more like kind of that massaging effect when you like rub, like when the, ther the therapist goes into your deep tissue, and then all of a sudden you know it tries to wave it out. That's so like when they it. dig that, dig that, that thing shoulder, out, yeah, the, the elbow into it, kind of yeah. a thing. They dig it out, so the first rapid one feels like someone's digging it out, and then afterwards it mellows out, like the one they kind of like massage downwards to get the blood flowing that way. So we'll try one more mode here. Uh, so this one is one. So it's one rapid, rapid like shock, and then afterwards it stimulates the rest out. So. What do you feel? It's like kind of a tingling sensation. So the first one, you know it contracts. So the first one, it can definitely contracts right off the bat. So it kind of wakes up your muscle or gives you a live shock. And then afterwards, it just helps stimulate. I can feel it kind of going throughout my whole arm. Um, the first one, you'll notice, like, like if I just relax, you'll see my right hand just jump. Oh, there it goes. And then afterwards, it oh, does this again. And then it mellows out. So. Therefore, all that stimulus I'm feeling is basically traveling all the way into my fingers. Got it. So pretty cool item. A uh, pretty cool item, actually. So um, how do you put these on? So you, they're like suction cups. So basically, you're trying to get all the air out. And it will stick onto you. So you're trying to do your best as you can. Uh, Harry, on the other hand, is trying to squeeze me like I'm a leech. Oh, Jesus, Harry. Oh, you're just going at me. Just, okay, I'm just trying to get all the air out. So. Yeah, so he's making sure it's just is there on tight. There, um, see, look, see, look, like, look, look, look. You look, can't. Look, okay, 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 big boy. I got you. So now but, we got uh, him on. Now we got me on. Just go, swing it around to see if it doesn't fall off. Okay. See, look, we good now. Okay, we good now. So now we start. Um, so let me pause this really quick. Okay, so this is paused. So basically, to start it again. Same thing I do, you just, you just hold this, power button turns on. You press the power button again, you don't have to hold it, and it will start stimulating. So to feel the stimulation, you have to press the plus button. And you can go, the higher you go, the more st um, stimulation you feel. And it's starting to go. So as you can tell, there is lines all over where I put the cups are. Um, in the cupping world, right, this is actually true. That's why you see when you do cupping, um, like Olympic swimmer like Michael Phelps, um, as you can tell before, there's there's a lot of Olympians who have cupping, right? You're asking like, why there's like cir circular bruises around them, right? This is why. Um, when you use cu the cupping method for recovery, you would actually um, see these little circles, these li linear dot, like kind of not linear dots, sorry, just these massive circles, except with this, with the TheraCup, you don't have that bruising. Well, I think if we go longer, you it probably might have, might have the, the bruising. But there. yeah, but I don't think it would be as heavy as traditional cupping, because traditional cupping is it's straight really, up, it's straight up yeah. so it actually will grab on, you'll see it lift. Right. With this, you don't lift it as much. It just it, it does suck in, but it distributes the um, electricity that electricity through your whole right. arm. So I don't think it would be as severe as that. It may, I mean, yeah, it might be a little bit red, but I don't think it's, it would be that kind of that purple, that bruising kind of thing. I think if we did it for twenty minutes, there probably there might be actually.
Uh, uh, we haven't seen. We we did it on me, and there was bruising. Uh, no, I did. We did it on my my shoulder, and there was darkness. Okay, but so, not as bad as cause not not as bad, bad as yeah, yeah. But it was it was still like you know hickey like obviously on the shoulder. Um, but I mean, it looks like look like a UFO landed on uh, Coach Blue's arm here. Yep. So make that four. Yes. Um, <laughs> So coach Chris is going to want to do it on his shoulder because I guess his shoulder's hurting him from hitting that forehand so late. Um, so have a seat coach Chris. No man, serving <laughs> bombs. <laughs> serving bombs. Bombs. Serving bombs. I don't even see the name. Bombs. Right here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, oh that's fine. Oh my so god. Just I'm going to make sure this yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Make, uh, you you I you got make got sure it's over. And then so, I'm going to go through the side, okay? Yeah, go for it. What the heck? Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's already on. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Come on, Bruce Lee. Oh yes, it, it is going it is on. on. Ah. It's constructive. You relax. What do you feel? What do you feel, Coach Chris? <laughs> feels. Feels yeah, good. It lower it. Not really. Oh, <laughs> when you like turned it on, I felt like my arm couldn't come down at all. Okay, hold on. Let's relax. This okay, so, okay it's oh. Coach Chris is feeling contraction. Oh. Is this number one, two, or three? It's pretty intense, guys. I think it's probably three. It's I probably three. Let's put on one. Let's put on one, though. I'm not really used to cupping. You don't feel nothing. Don't worry, it'll feel something soon. Yeah, yeah there you go. What the heck? So, yeah, as you can tell right here, it's just back there. Okay, so right. Coach Chris. He's feeling it for sure. So, Coach um, Chris claims to be serving a lot of bombs, and now we're going to help him out here. Oh, you can tell it's pulsating. Uh, hey, come on, man. It's not that bad. It's really weird, guys. It's a weird sensation. It, well, it's if you had a stem machine, it should feel just Stem like machines that. are more constant. So the difference between this like, and the stem machine, stem machine has a constant variable. So basically, so it's, it's still one. shaking, shaking, it, shaking. Like, you see it vibrate. Yeah, you see, you see it um, um, kind of engaging all the muscles, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a constant um, kind of wave. Oh. So uh, with this, these have different modes, mm -hmm. so it hits your muscles in different ways. So this is what, this is what we consider a little more aggressive for stem. Yeah. Stem is more constant. Got it it hits a certain type of. Mm -hmm. um, it's just more your stomach, so you could do more sit-ups. You know, make it. Actually, there is what's that like six-pack thing? Yeah, or, yeah, it's, it's that's that's it. Oh, oh yeah, so you still no, it's not man. <laughs> Look at that. No, it's not. Look at that. Ah, is there a different mode? It's, it's like yeah. the intensity yeah, is like. Oh my god. Different one. All right, so mode number two, is it right, Coach Goom? Yeah, right it's here? supposed to be. All right, here's mode, mode number two. two. Ooh, How's I that saw one? that. Ooh, I saw that. Mode number two is better. Mode number two is better. Mode number one was like. Is aggressive. Yeah. It's like slow, slow. This one then progressively boom. builds. I can tell yeah. it progressively builds. It's all nice. Right, I'm gonna change it, alright? Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna go hard now. How's this one? You feel a little bit of something or no? Turn it up. Okay, ready? How's this one? Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> So That's the one, most intense one. That this one gradually builds, as you can tell. So it goes from from a slow, and then all of a sudden it goes high, and it grips off for I a see while. See the cup? Look at that! Look at the cup moving. Jeez, it's like oh. it's like a leech sucking yeah, hard. Yeah, harder. Harder. You got it, and then I see this mode. Let me know if it just goes back to the mode one. That was the lightest of them. Okay, well, so that's mode one, man. Um, out of the three modes, which one do you like the most? Um, neither of them really suit me the most. I think this the, this mode right, that's on right now is probably which too is? soft, like in terms of intensity. I would want something that's just all around, just what? stimulating you instead want of just, just massaging you. Yeah. Instead of just like uh, the level of when it goes all the way up, 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 like it just it's a bit like too strong. It needs to just stay constant. I think there should be a mode where it just <laughs> just stays constant instead of just like slowly, slowly, awesome. and then boom, like hits you like out of nowhere. I'd rather have something that so, maintains. So it's working. 
it's working, but like, I think if there's a mode that just like maintains the electrical impulse here, instead of just going and then like all of a sudden just contract all your muscles, I think that would be a, a mode worth putting in. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's remove them and we'll yeah. see how he looks. There you go. Good job, bud. So he's uh, tall. Mm. There is a suction. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. We should leave it on for another hour or so and see what happens. <laughs> so, oh. Okay, so we just went through. I'll bet you he feels better tomorrow. I'll bet you he does. Um, I've actually tried these on myself for like two weeks now before we did this review, and so has Coach Goo. I hope yes. he's watching. Um, Coach Chris has just got back, so that's why he doesn't know about this that much. So we we extensively test this thing before um, we we did this review, and we yeah. like it. We like it a lot. Yeah. yeah. So we believe that um, for what it is, and in the different modes that it has, and in the different ways you can use it. I mean, you can use it as a a STEM machine, as you guys call it, with the pads or you could use it with the cupping too. Um, it actually helps with a lot of things that ails you, um, especially with uh, muscles. And, yeah, and it's, a good, it's a good travel. It's like if you're traveling on the road, like Coach Chris does, and for me as well, if I'm playing just tournaments in general or just a long day of work of coaching, um, it's a good, like, portable thing to carry. And it's super light, as you can tell. Like, the packaging is super light, oh. super easy. You can put it in your backpack or even, like, anywhere, really. And I mean, it's super easy. Look at how big it is. It's in my hand. It's really a perfect size to go recovery kit right. for your traveling pro or coach or so, everyday users. So the batteries are already in them. Yeah. All you have to do is charge them. There's yeah. For about 90 minutes and that's all you need to do and they're ready to go um so no need to buy batteries or anything else everything's within that box we've tested a lot of things on this channel and this is probably one of the best things we've ever tried i think so i think it's for what it's trying to achieve i i do like this tool a lot yeah i definitely would recommend something like this uh, for your recovery if you guys Especially use, if you like, if you try to find a STEM product or just like any recovery kit, I mean, this is pretty much a go-to in my opinion. If you guys want to, you know, buy one of these, we're going to link, uh, put a link down below and uh, you guys can test it out yourself. But we, we're pleasantly surprised by this product. Um, it's called a Thera Cup. Yes. Um, I think one thing that I would be wary of is you have to know where the location of your like kind of injuries are. So, like for tennis elbow, we had kind of we had to find the kind of the right area. So, it, it depending upon where your ailment is will depend on where this goes. So, Coach Gu and I did a lot of trial and error on yeah. this before we figured out where to put them on our bodies. So um, you guys will probably have to do the same thing, but we do believe that this thing works. And it no, works. I mean you can tell it does work. Like we do, we just put it on everything. Right, it did work. So even Coach Chris felt something. <laughs> you look very nervous for a second. All right, Coach Gu, uh, thank you for uh, testing out this product with me. We of did course. an extensive test. Yeah, um, I, I loved it. So. Right. Where can we find you, Coach Gu? You can find me at ag.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right, Coach Chris, thank you for lending us your shoulder. Hopefully, uh, it gets it's better tomorrow because of this. Coach Chris, where can we find you? You can find me at CV Chan Tennis. All right, there are a couple of what it's called. Link is below. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.